Yo, awesome. guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to five terrifying close calls caught on camera. I'm not gonna lie, the thumbnail sucked me into this one, and yeah, that's why we're reacting to this. But I've done a few reactions to this channel before, and the videos are always quite quite wild to watch. So yeah, hopefully you're going to enjoy. Hopefully you're all well. Links are in the description to my Patreon. I've got a lot of Patreon exclusive reactions that can't be posted to YouTube that have been posted over the last year. If you want to find that, links are in the description. But let's just jump into this one. Sometimes though, somebody often when no terrifying close calls happen all the time Holy shit. often when nobody is around to witness so is this a mud that's not a mud what, what is that a landslide they're like huge ass rocks Times, though somebody is filming at just the right moment to capture oh, something incredible on film Some... from a massive sinkhole opening up in the middle of a well, busy a intersection boat. To God a powerful damn. and fierce tornado tearing through a crowded this Chinese city. This is about city. to be Here are wild, five man. terrifying close calls that were caught on camera. Based off those just bits of footage from the start, this is going to be a crazy video, man. The northeast region of India is a place full of beautiful and diverse landscapes. Here, you will find everything from towering mountains to snowy wilderness. With this diversity comes a lot of different natural disasters. It's but perhaps one of the most devastating that plagues the region are rock falls. Rock falls are pretty much exactly what they sound like. It's like a landslide, but instead of land, it's giant boulders that come crashing down. So that was the footage On July start, 25th, right? 2021, a man in the Batseri village captured one of these rock falls on film. The video starts off as soon as the rock fall begins. Just At the top of the mountain, out. you can see dust Fuck and me. debris. It's hard to make out exactly what is going on. A little while later, the rocks come tumbling down the hill, oh days, destroying man. everything in their path. And they're just recording from a building across. Bro, imagine seeing this. Just so helpless. Oh my days, man. Yeah, get inside. I don't think that's going to protect you either, but at least get some cover. Flipping hell, man. So you see these rocks here. Yeah? You see these, I say little rocks, they're not little, but these rocks at this sort of speed doing this damage. And just causing this kind of chaos. Imagine a meteor, man. Just imagine seeing a meteor hit the earth. The same size as these ones here. Just, bro, the difference would be crazy, man. Oh my days, man. See, that wasn't even the biggest one. Obviously, it was spinning a lot faster. And probably the speed-wise, it's probably the, one of the faster ones. But in terms of size, there was ones way bigger than that. But look what this does. With such ease. And it's just gone. Fuck me. Oh my days. The man filming the video said that once he realized what was happening, he knew he needed to take cover. He retreated further back into a building, but even this may not have been enough. Rock oh after rock came crashing down, each one a bit closer than the last. The highlight of the video actually happens right at the end, when we see one of the boulders come crashing down right on top of an iron bridge, sending it crumbling into the river That's below. Wild, While man. everybody in this video was uninjured, the same can't be said for a few others in the small town. Nine people sadly lost their lives during this event. That's how scary that is, man. That was one of the craziest bits of footage I've ever seen. When you think of sinkholes, one place that probably doesn't come to mind is Japan. The country isn't necessarily known for them, but when this massive one opened country. up right in the middle of a busy intersection, it it's quite cool though because you can see sort of what goes on underneath you, like what sort of st what it is underneath us, right? Obviously, you know it's rocks and mud or whatever. But so these are tunnels. I guess this is like some electrical systems, the sewers. I don't know what this is, and this is just water. How? How much? How deep do you reckon it is for like for there to be water? I don't know how to say it. Like, 
Because there's water under every bit of, like, everything on this planet, right? But I don't know how deep, I guess certain parts are just deeper than others. But, like, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying. But, yeah, this is just wild. Like, this is all liquid here. I guess maybe under here it's liquid, liquid mud or something. I don't really know. Locals very alarmed. Just this road here. Oh, it's gone. And imagine being in the building here. Imagine how scared. The sinkhole you'd be. opened up on November eighth, two thousand sixteen, just after five a.m. local time in the city of Fukuoka. Thankfully, it opened slowly, allowing people to evacuate the area before it all caved in. Officials in Japan have stated that the cause of this thirty by twenty-seven meter sinkhole was construction work on an underground line. Oh, wow. For this to happen in the middle of a busy so city intersection surely is a cause for concern. Locals were worried that other sinkholes would open in other parts of the city, perhaps with less warning. Thankfully, this seems to have been an isolated incident. What was perhaps even more impressive than the sinkhole was the time it took to fix it. Crews worked wow. around the clock to repair the broken pipes and fill in the hole. About one week later, the road no was opened back up for traffic. God damn, Given man. the size of the sinkhole and the repairs needed, this was a rather impressive feat of Japanese work. Kind of fast, in bro. the end, nobody was injured in this disaster. A week, and they they sorted it all out. That's crazy, man. Flipping Base out. jumping is a sport that very few people are able to experience. For starters, you typically need to complete at least 200 skydives before You're being crazy, allowed man. to jump. And on top of that, it's pretty damn terrifying. There is a real danger to the sport that isn't present with skydiving. If base jumping in a city, you have other buildings to watch out for while also having far less time to open your parachute. Are you allowed to do it in the in city? In September of 2014, yes, a group of people went to the top of the Manara Kuala Lumpur Tower in Malaysia to go jumping. It was a sunny day and spirits were high. So it looks, yeah, never doing anything like that. I'm happy in my, in my chair right if now. If you're at all familiar with this channel, then you know just how dangerous and terrifying tornadoes can be. Damn they straight. are one of the most unbelievable forces of nature. And as these people in China learned, one of the most destructive. Far up in northern China lies the city of Kaiyuan. With a population of over 600,000 people, this definitely city. is not one of China's largest cities. Oh yeah, for China, but it's still a huge city overall. But it's far from small. On July 3rd, 2019, the city was abruptly hit with a powerful tornado that God damaged damn. over 4,000 homes. Footage captured by locals shows the tornado as it tore through the city, flipping cars and destroying property. We have shown many tornadoes on this channel, but this may be the first one featured that hit right in the middle of a densely populated city. Oh my days. Look at the size of that. Absolute size of that thing. God damn it, man. Oh my days. Fuck me, bro. Look at the speed as well. Is this person outside? I think you might want to get inside. Unless they're not. Look at the apartments. Poor people. Man. Yeah, the whole neighborhood is just absolutely destroyed. So yeah, it, it went right for a sea again. Like these big tornadoes are like, or like the biggest, most infamous ones, the ones that happen in towns and obviously hit cities, but maybe don't go right through it or all that kind of stuff. But when it does, it's so rare. And the chaos that it can cause, maybe it won't necessarily be the most destructive one because it's going through a highly populated area. The damage that it's going to do, man, it's 10 times worse. The tornado started around 5.15 p.m. local time and only lasted about 15 minutes. Not that much Many residents were caught off guard because the tornado formed rather fast, as they tend to do. 
The storm destroyed 250 acres of crops and thousands of homes. Jeez. 200 people had to be rescued, while another 1,600 were evacuated. China as a country isn't really known to experience many tornadoes. They get between 10 and 100 each year, but they're not often severe, making this not only a devastating event for the city, but a rather rare one. Kind of surprising that China's so big, but it doesn't get so many. Along the western coast of Portugal the lies the small town of Nazare. Nazare is a popular tourist destination. Well, this place looks nice, man. I'm looking for somewhere to go on a holiday. I'm not going to lie. Might have found my spot. Uh, but maybe after seeing what's going to be here, maybe I'll change my mind. But look how, just look how white the, the town or the city is. It's just literally the housing is exactly the same throughout the whole city. The small town of Nazare. Nazare is a popular tourist destination for many reasons. It has great weather and pristine beaches. But the main reason many people travel here every year is that it is also home to the largest waves found anywhere on Earth. Really Thanks Portugal. to the underwater Nazare Canyon, this town is home to not only record-breaking waves, but also many surfing records. Up until about 10 years ago, this small community was unknown to even the most prominent big wave surfers. That all what? changed when a 52-year-old man was tipped off by locals and the rest is history. Look One at that. look at the size of the waves is enough to make you wonder why anybody would go near these you're waters, crazy, but man. they do. When you're dealing with waves of this magnitude, things are bound to go wrong from time to time. And that's exactly the situation professional surfer Tiago Jacare found himself what in. What causes such a big Video wave? Video filmed in December of 2018. What causes such a big wave? I mean, I probably should know this, but I don't. Like, you get waves of all kinds, but why is there such big waves? Shows Jacare as he rides one of the waves. Suddenly, he hits a bump in the water and falls off. From here, it only gets worse. Jacare is only able to reach the surface in time for a short breath God before the next wave comes crashing down. Flipping His hell. teammate, surfer David Langer, So it's literally just endless. I was sort of thinking there's just one big wave, but then there's small ones back after that. It's just... It's like a sort of... Every so often they just happen, but it's literally continuous. So you're literally just stuck. Oh my days, man. And look how foamy it is as well. Before the next wave comes crashing down. His teammate, surfer the David fuck? Langer, is unable to rescue him because he is located right in the impact zone. After five monster waves crash into him, he is finally rescued and brought to shore. Lucky he got away with it though. See the impact as well. No, no, it's not tap yet. It's the guy that's with Langer. Oh, he's going to take this one on the head. Oh. So what does he do? He puts his legs up. What's that about? Oh, and there's another one. And Langer, we're not going to make it there in time. Where is he? Can you see him? Oh, he's there. Shit, me, there's man. There's another one. Oh, I can't imagine how scared you'd be. He, he's, he's completely. Oh, oh my days. Sebastian got him. Praise the Lord for speedboats, right? Look how rough it is still even here. The craziest ass beast. The craziest, craziest ass beach I've ever seen. He looks all good though, I think. Oh no, he's not. He's the one being attended to.
In total, Jacare was at the mercy of the ocean for nearly two whole minutes. One look at the ferocity of the waves makes you wonder how he survived. Shame, but he man. did, albeit while quite exhausted. With each wave that passes, he gets sucked underwater, barely able to resurface to breathe before the next one comes crashing Bro, I can't down. Imagine what Seeing that videos be like, like this makes you wonder if people die here all the time, but they don't. In fact, nobody has ever died while surfing at Nazare, which, if you ask me, is quite impressive. Thankfully, Jacare escaped this dangerous situation uninjured. Terrifying close- I bet he's still, um, he still like surfs as well to this day. Cause you know, people like that man, they don't give a damn. They just got balls of steel and they'll do it again and again and again. Total admiration for that woman that didn't panic when her shoot got twisted. Here in America, the sinkhole would have been left for years while politicians argue on who should spend the money to fix it. I got mad, mad respect respect for the female jumper. She was a straight soldier during the understandable panic time. Yeah, man. These are situations that I wouldn't find myself getting into, but even though, even then, I can't imagine how it would feel to be in these situations. It's just, yeah, man, it must be so flipping wild to experience something like this. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. More, more reactions from this channel or whatever channel similarly you want me to see in future. Be in until next time. Like, subscribe. Peace.